four different styles are classified as CH, ML, SP, SW as per the unified classic uh, unified soil classification system. Which one of the following options correctly represents their arrangement in the decreasing order of hydraulic conductivity? <coughs> so, what are CH, ML, SP, and SW? Let's know what is CH, ML, SP, <coughs> SW. So, C refers clay, whereas H refers highly compressible. Okay, this is highly compressible clay. Then M refers silt, and L refers low compressible. So, here S refers sand, P refers poorly graded. So, here also S refers sand, W refers well graded sand. Now, <coughs> so here uh, the grading as it has come, what is well graded sand, what is poorly graded sand. Let us draw, uh, let us know something about C1 analysis, ok. C1 analysis. C1 analysis is done by taking different size sieves and taking the sample in the top sieve then uh, shaking the sieve you will get uh, soil is going to be retained in different sieves okay then you will take the uh, uh, graph this is the uh, sorry this is the percentage of finers this is the size of the sieve now the if you take a particular size of the sieve, whatever is the percentage of the soil which is uh, sieved through this out of the total sample that is called percentage of finer for this size. Okay, Like that for this size whatever is the percentage of the soil which is passed. So, that is how for a particular size there is a percentage of finer you will get a curve like this or like this, like this anything. So, when percent uh, when the soil is having only single size then you will get curve like this when the soil is uh, distributed over different sizes you will get the curve like this so this curve represents well graded soil okay generally well graded sand will have more permeability okay remember it more permeability then poorly graded will have less compared to this less compared to well graded. Now, let us, so according to the uh, particle size distribution, generally uh, soil is uh, in the decrease, uh, let us go for uh, increasing order of increasing order of just a minute. increasing order of particle size ok that can be uh, written like this clay then silt then sand gravel cobbles then boulders so, this is how the increasing order of the particle size, the lesser size will be clay, then silt, then the uh, sand will be having more particle size uh, compared to the silt so like that. Now, uh, coming to the, there is an equation which is given by Kojani and Karman equation, that equation can be written as See this is permeability of soil, this is hydraulic conductivity of soil, okay. And these two are the fluid properties, okay. So, soil has some fluid in it, okay, in the voids. Okay, the fluid can be water, 
or any other fluid it is not necessarily be water okay let us consider water um, for this particular so problem then you can give the suffix w because it is water the fluid is water so this is the unit weight and this is the viscosity okay now here what is permeability permeability is can be given as c into d10 square d10 is the percentage of finer when the percentage of finer is 10 the size the size corresponding to the uh, 10 percentage of the finer and into e q by 1 plus e so this is permeability this c is shape constant this is uh, uh, e is void ratio i told you what is d10 so k is proportional to the void ratio right that is how hydraulic conductivity is proportional to void ratio right small k is permeability so uh, void ratio is generally more for when the particle size is more coming to the soil the void ratio will also be more for that particular uh, size e is proportional to the diameter of the particle or size of the particle you can say size this is the particle size okay that is how when the size is more E is more when the E is more hydraulic conductivity is more so let us arrange now what is the question let us go back what is the question so you have to arrange these things in the decreasing order of the hydraulic conductivity so hydraulic conductivity should decrease hydraulic conductivity should decrease okay it should decrease means the e value also should decrease the e value should decrease means what size also should decrease so we will take the more size first so we have come across what are the soils sand silt clay so whose size is more according to this size is more for sand then silt then clay so i'll write sand first then silt second then clay only these three things are given in the question so under sand what are the things came well graded sand and poorly graded sand and under silt ml i think ml and under this ch see there is no c is given let us say there is cl and cm okay cl is also low compressible clay but it is not given we have been given only one clay that is highly compressible clay you can forget about this part because we have we have to concentrate on the type of the soil first so c now just our well graded will uh, well graded soil will have more permeability so then is poorly graded sand will be less permeability then i'm add, uh, i can keep it like this so that it has more permeability then less then coming to this more so it is decreasing order sw sp ml ch sw sp ml ch so a will be the answer for it. Thank you.